Hello everyone, I'm Gas, and welcome to Day 2 of Fire Emblem E3 2015. The purpose of this series is to give you a brief introduction to the fan projects being featured today, so after watching these short digest videos, be sure to check out their full feature later on. Kels FE, working title, is an FE7 mod set in the turbulent continent of Erz. The story follows Thelm, a commander from a small country whose founder rejected both sides of an ancient war to stand alone. Thelm is sent with a small vanguard to aid the allied nation of Kels against a sudden rebellion. His travels will take him through Kels and several other countries of Erz, as he aids the Kelsian militia, defends against foreign aggressors, and finally recovers the true intentions of the instigators of the rebellion. The game is planned to be 10 to 15 chapters long and will feature hub maps where the player can select a mission from a set of three and tackle them in whatever order they wish. With the enemies growing stronger and the maps more difficult to traverse as time passes, there will also be plenty of new animations and music from games ranging from the well-known to the obscure, as well as several custom compositions. The patch will hopefully be released around October. Scions of Kings This story follows the Prince of Ibernor, Andros, as he sets off on a journey to offer prayers and be blessed at Tanki's Shrine of Darkness in order to complete the coronation ritual and officially become the next Crown Prince of Ibernor. He is accompanied by Tobias, his longtime friend, and Rai, a lieutenant of the Storm Rider Brigade. The group then stumbles upon Yu, a traveling scholar whose goal is to learn everything there is to know about the ways of war. Choose your weapon and join Andros on his journey to become the future High King of Ibernor. Your actions will determine the fates of many. This hack features the ability to customize your tactician to your liking. You as the player can have a choice of which weapon you would like to use in battle. Choose wisely, as once you make the decision, you cannot change it. Currently, there are custom maps, custom mugs, new music to replace the old, CGs to flesh out the plot, and new weapon icons. Fate of Fire is an all-new FE7 hack that gives the player control over the story through decisions that the player makes. Players will have the option to pursue one or more routes at multiple places in the game. The first demo of the hack is scheduled to release during or soon after FE3, so watch out. Fire Emblem Origin of Creation Fifteen years have passed since the fall of Ashgard, its ruling family lost, and its land and people left to an uncertain future. The embrace of chaos casts Spellaria into turmoil. As a conspiracy, generations in the making threatens the entire world. Unaware, a boy and his sister seek the answers to their past. This is an FE7 ROM hack made by Aoris, and boasts one of the most impressive looking sprites in any fan game. Unfortunately, due to time constraints and real-life commitment, progress on the hack has been at a little bit of a standstill. I was able to interview Aoris and another project had Char on the current standing of the hack, so make sure you take a look at that interview later on today. Immortal Sword This year, Fire Emblem Immortal Sword presents Uther Part 1. Set 15 years before the events of Fire Emblem 7, FE7X Part 1 opens in Foray, and follows the young Lord Uther and his friends as they are drawn into a complicated political ordeal. Including 8 chapters, a Gaiden, a few bonuses, this release represents only a small part of the planned game. The project has been developed with Microsoft XNA to simulate the official Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem series gameplay, but additional features such as elaborated class tree, a diverse skill system, and an overworld map helps to set the game apart. And that will do it for today's Digest video of FEE3 2015. Please stay tuned for the full features of today's submissions. I'm Gas for FEE3, and I'll catch you guys on the next submission.